Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki. At one time or another in my ministry as a Jesuit, I've worked among the Native American people. And so today I'm happy to celebrate the feast of Blessed Kateri Tekawitha, a young Native woman who lived in upstate New York in the 1600s and eventually moved to a Jesuit mission in Canada. On the feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, when she was in her early 20s, Kateri made a vow of virginity. Her spiritual director, Father Pierre, a Jesuit missionary wrote the following about her. In love and gratitude for Jesus, immolated on our altars and on the cross, and prompted by an intense desire to give all for all, after preparing herself by new devotions, she made in Holy Communion a perpetual offering of her soul to Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, and of her body to Jesus crucified, taking him for her only spouse, and devoting herself wholly to him as bride. She chose a great feast of Our Lady for this act, so as to make her offering to the Son through the hands of his Divine Mother, and also in order to take her once more for her own, to keep alive her devotion for the mystery of our Savior's passion, and to have it always present to her mind, she carried a little crucifix which I had given her. She often kissed it with feelings of the most tender compassion for the suffering Jesus and with the most vivid remembrance of the benefits of our redemption. She made the Lord Jesus hidden in the sacrament of the altar her one exercise of devotion, her one source of nourishment and encouragement. She was quite motionless at prayer. She prayed little with the lips, much from the heart, not merely with attention. You would surely have said she was not so much believing in the hidden Jesus as looking at him there present. 